2007 Peterbilt with a C15 Cat Acert and 317 inch wheelbase. In the words of Tim the Toolman Taylor, oh, oh, oh. All right, so what we're gonna do is, is um, we're gonna get under here and do an alignment on this thing. Now the front end alignment has not been set on this thing. The guy uh, has been rebuilding this truck for a long time. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and get the front. He's added, uh, you know, air ride suspension and stuff like that to the front. So what we're gonna do is, is uh, right now the uh, caster is at zero and positive one eighth, which is a little low. And, uh, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw some wedges in here and see if we can't kick this caster up. Bob. All right, so anytime you wanna put an airbag like this in here, uh, you drop it that front down, you gotta take a lot of weight off. It's always good to have at least a one inch block in here so that way, you, it, it, preferably this should be a caster block so that way it's got a little caster in it, you know. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and throw some wedges in here. I'm gonna put a two and a half on this side. I'm gonna put a five on this side over here and see what we got going on. Uh, the back setup here is actually a pretty good back setup, man. Uh, you got the bags, did all the plates themselves. Real good job on that, man. Kudos to you, sir. As you can see here, our uh, our caster is one eighth and zero. It's a no-no. And then we gotta do a, uh, man, look how long this thing is, man. We gotta do a three axle on this long thing. It barely fits on the frame machine. <laughs> All right, so if we get under here, we're gonna talk a little bit about caster. You have to have caster in order for this thing to drive right, obviously. You need probably about four, four and five, four degrees on this side. Now, the reason why we put these in here, these wedges in here is so that way we can get a split. Uh, I'm gonna put a two on this side. Now, uh, I've seen some videos where they actually, and I've seen it personally, where they have one on this side going backwards and one on that side going forward and they're actually not doing anything at that point. Uh, but generally, uh, you, you want to put a caster wedge on this side with the wide part facing back, so that way you can increase the caster on the truck. Break it up a little bit. One look in. One look in. One look in. One look in. So, all the way back. And this is going to increase the caster. This is a two degree wedge. It's going to automatically bring the caster up on both sides. Now, what we're going to do on that side, we're going to put a five degree on that side because we're at zero and we need to come way up and get a split. Now, the split is minute. You don't need much from, from this side to that side. You don't need much. You only need one degree, three quarter to one degree split 